Ace your .NET Core interview top 20 questions you must know. Are you ready to land your dream .NET Core job? This video will equip you with the knowledge to confidently answer the 20 most important interview questions. Let's dive in. What is the difference between .NET Framework and .NET Core? .NET Framework is the original .NET implementation, primarily for Windows. It's tightly coupled with the Windows operating system. .NET Core is a cross-platform, open source, and modular implementation of .NET. It can run on Windows, macOS, and Linux. This makes it ideal for modern, cloud-based applications. What is dependency injection? Dependency injection is a design pattern that promotes loose coupling. It allows you to inject dependencies into classes instead of creating them within the class itself. .NET Core has built-in support for dependency injection, making it easy to manage dependencies. This leads to more testable and maintainable code. What is middleware in .NET Core? Middleware are components that execute within the ASP.NET Core pipeline. Each middleware component handles a specific aspect of the request. They can perform tasks like authentication, authorization, logging, and exception handling. Middleware forms a pipeline to process incoming HTTP requests. How to configure logging in .NET Core? .NET Core provides a flexible logging system. You can configure logging providers to write logs to various destinations. These destinations include the console, files, databases, and cloud services. Configuration is typically done in app settings, JSON, or through code. What is the purpose of app settings.json in .NET Core? App settings.json is a configuration file used to store application settings. It allows you to externalize configuration values. This makes it easy to change settings without recompiling the application. It supports different environments using environment-specific files like app settings, development, JSON. What is routing in ASP.NET Core? Routing is the process of mapping incoming HTTP requests to specific controller actions. It determines which code should handle a particular request. ASP.NET Core uses a flexible routing system based on URL patterns. You can define routes using attributes or convention-based routing. What is the difference between AdTransient, AdScope, and AdSingleton? These methods define the lifetime of services registered with the DI container. AdTransient creates a new instance every time it's requested. AdScope creates a new instance per HTTP request. Add Singleton creates a single instance for the lifetime of the application. How do you handle global exceptions in .NET Core? Global exception handling allows you to catch unhandled exceptions. This prevents the application from crashing and provides a graceful way to handle errors. You can use middleware or exception filters to implement global exception handling. This ensures consistent error handling across the application. What is the difference between use and run in iApplication Builder? In ASP.NET Core, use and run are middleware extension methods available on the iApplication Builder interface. Use adds middleware to the pipeline that can optionally pass the request to the next middleware. It acts as an interceptor. Run adds terminal middleware to the pipeline. It handles the request and does not pass it to the next middleware. It effectively ends the pipeline. How to implement caching in .NET Core? Caching improves application performance by storing frequently accessed data. .NET Core supports various caching mechanisms. These mechanisms include in-memory caching, distributed caching, e.g. Redis, and response caching. Caching reduces the load on the database and improves response times. What is the difference between iHost and iWebHost? iWebHost is used for hosting web applications. It configures the web server and handles HTTP requests. iHost is a more general purpose host that can be used for any type of application. This includes console applications, background services, and worker services. How to optimize performance in .NET Core? 
Performance optimization involves identifying and addressing bottlenecks in the application. This can include code optimization, database optimization, and caching. Using asynchronous programming, minimizing allocations, and using efficient data structures are key strategies. Profiling tools can help identify performance issues. What is the difference between HTTP client and HTTP client factory? HTTP client is used to make HTTP requests. However, creating and disposing of HTTP client instances can lead to socket exhaustion. HTTP client factory manages the lifetime of HTTP client instances. It provides a pool of reusable HTTP client instances, preventing socket exhaustion and improving performance. What is the difference between iQueryable and iEnumerable in Link? iEnumerable represents a sequence of objects that can be iterated over. It executes queries in memory. iQueryable represents a query that can be translated to a data source, e.g. a database. It executes queries on the data source, improving performance for large datasets. What is Kestrel and what role does it play in ASP.NET Core applications? Kestrel is a cross-platform web server for ASP.NET Core. It's the default web server used in ASP.NET Core applications. Kestrel is lightweight and efficient, making it suitable for production environments. It can be used directly or behind a reverse proxy like IIS or Nyinx. What is the iOption pattern? The iOptions pattern provides a way to access configuration values in a strongly typed manner. It allows you to bind configuration sections to classes. This makes it easier to manage and access configuration settings. It also supports reloading configuration values at runtime. What is iOptions T and why is it used in .NET Core? iOptions T is an interface that provides access to configuration values of type T. It's used to inject configuration settings into classes. Using iOptions T promotes loose coupling and makes it easier to test and maintain the application. It also supports configuration validation. What is gRPC and how is it utilized in .NET Core? gRPC is a high-performance open-source RPC framework. It uses protocol buffers as its interface definition language. .NET Core supports gRPC, allowing you to build efficient and scalable microservices. gRPC is often used for communication between services. What are minimal APIs in .NET 6, and how do they differ from traditional controllers? Minimal APIs provide a simplified way to create HTTP endpoints. They eliminate the need for controllers and use Lambda expressions to handle requests. Minimal APIs are more concise and require less boilerplate code. They are ideal for building small focused APIs. How does .NET Core handle background tasks? .NET Core provides several ways to handle background tasks. These include using background service, iHosted service and the task run method. Background service and iHosted service are used for long running background tasks. Task run is used for short lived background tasks. Congratulations, you've now covered the top 20 .NET Core interview questions. But learning doesn't stop here. To truly master .NET Core, practice coding, build projects, and stay updated with the latest features, subscribe to our channel for more in-depth tutorials and career advice. Share this video with your fellow developers, and let's all level up our .NET skills together. Don't forget to check out the links in the description for additional resources and practice questions. Good luck with your interview.